Saudi Arabia just shocked the entire world with its stunning transformation from being an import nation to becoming an agricultural powerhouse the country has left everyone in awe. Saudi Arabia is a country that is known for its hostile climate, with little rainfall and mostly desert and arid lands. The country has heavily depended on imports for decades to meet its food needs. However, a shocking phenomenon has occurred in the desert land in recent years. The desert is rapidly turning into fertile farmlands, which is a shocking phenomenon even to scientists. So what's happening in Saudi Arabia? Stay with us, as we'll find out in this video. The desert land is rapidly turning into fertile farmlands, a phenomenon even surprisingly to scientists. But how is this happening? Saudi Arabia has a land size of 2.14 million square kilometers, nearly the same as Western Europe, making it the 14th largest nation globally. However, historically, the country has never seen an annual rainfall of over 150 millimeters. This has left a large part of Saudi Arabia majorly dry, with just a small part of the southwest region suitable for planting. Even until the late 1960s, the country was recorded to just have 400 square kilometers of fertile land, with only 0.5% of the entire country. Citizens mainly survived by planting small fields with local crops, while all other necessary food items were imported. This limitation was no good news, but things are changing. The government has invested heavily in agriculture, transferring from an import nation to an export one. A significant transformation is happening, and the desert is becoming fertile farmlands. The government has utilized new technologies such as drip irrigation, water harvesting, and hydroponics to overcome the country's water scarcity challenges. Furthermore, with advancements in technology and the use of renewable energy sources, Saudi Arabia is moving towards a more sustainable future. The country's weather is also changing, shifting towards more rain and less heat. The Saudi Arabian government is actively taking steps to combat climate change, such as implementing carbon capture and storage projects and developing a green hydrogen industry. All of these factors contribute to Saudi Arabia's growth and progress. The citizens are now planting more crops, and the government is on its way to becoming self-sufficient in food production. With the government's continued investment in agriculture and sustainability, Saudi Arabia is poised to be a global leader. Saudi Arabia's agricultural success story was made possible by several factors. One of the main contributors was the government's support for regional farmers, including interest-free loans, technical assistance, and access to cheap fuel, electricity, water, and duty-free entry of farm equipment and supplies. The government also established investment laws that gave foreign venture partners enticing perks, such as tax exemptions, for up to 10 years. In addition to government support, organizations like the Saudi Arabian Agricultural Bank, SAAB, provided interest-free loans and subsidies to help farmers maximize their yields. The government also founded organizations for grain silos and flour mills in 1972, which were responsible for purchasing and storing wheat, erecting flour mills, and creating an animal feed. To further support the agricultural sector, modernized roadways were built to connect agricultural areas with import markets and the government-sponsored capital-intensive programs benefited farmers with high capital requirements, helping with economic diversification. The government also funded research initiatives to develop fresh food crops, raise crop yields, and discover novel approaches to making crops pest-resistant. Agriculture research sites within several colleges nationwide allowed local farmers and scientists to work together. Water was a crucial component of agriculture, and Saudi Arabia's success depended on ingenuity and luck. The country's aquifers were used first, surprising many as Saudi Arabia was not as dry as previously thought. However, as grain production grew to an enormous scale, water supplies had to be restricted to preserve them. The country even became the second largest donor of food aid to the UN, combating poverty and food shortages worldwide. Saudi Arabia is the largest oil reserve in the world, and when a significant volume of crude oil was found in a dam oil field in March 1934, the nation quickly rose to own nearly 17% of the world's proven petroleum reserves. With this newfound wealth, the Saudi Arabian government invested in transforming their desert landscape into productive farmlands. Historically, the country has never seen an annual rainfall of more than 150 millimeters, leaving just a small part of the southwest region for planting. 
Until the late 1960s, the country had only 0.5% of its entire land area as fertile land, and the citizens survived mainly by planting small fields with local crops. But with the government's investment, the miracle of expanding farmlands began. The Saudi Arabian government's actions included the development of sophisticated irrigation systems, constructing of dams to capture and store rainfall, using underground water sources. They also brought experts worldwide to develop new agricultural techniques and technologies such as greenhouses and hydroponics. Today, Saudi Arabia is considered one of the seven modern wonders of the world, exporting a wide range of goods, including wheat, dates, dairy products, eggs, fish, poultry, birds, fruits, vegetables, and even flowers. The country has transformed from a hub for food imports to a hub for food exports, and its once desolate landscape is now a testament to what can be achieved with purposeful planning, innovation, and investment. Saudi Arabia's transformation from a desert to productive agricultural hub results from purposeful planning and fortunate events. The government invested significant technology to convert the desert terrain into productive farming land. They invested in initiatives that support cutting-edge agricultural technologies and rural infrastructure, revolutionizing the agricultural sector. Despite being a nation that has benefited greatly from oil, the government did not just sit back and do nothing. Instead, they used the nation's resources to create favorable conditions for the populace. The government set up facilities for making dairy, meat, and poultry meals early in their investment. By 1985, the country had reached a point of self-sufficiency in goods like milk, eggs, and meat. Saudi Arabia not only achieved self-sufficiency, but also significantly increased agricultural exports. Additionally, a huge amount of milk was produced during this time, with each cow producing about 800 gallons annually. Fish farms were also expanding, both on land and offshore sites. The construction of these fish farms resulted in seafood production, and the country benefited greatly from shrimp production. Saudi Arabia became a significant shrimp exporter to nations like Japan and the USA. Thanks to the government's efforts, Saudi Arabia quickly transitioned from importing wheat to exporting it. Building wheat silos in 1978 allowed a quick transition to wheat sufficiency in 1984. Major grain-producing areas such as Park Hill and Kazim produce roughly 3.6 tons of wheat per acre. The government made substantial efforts to create favorable conditions for the populace, such as setting up dairy, meat, and poultry production facilities. By 1985, the country had achieved self-sufficiency in milk, eggs, and meat production, and significantly increased its agricultural exports. Fish farms were also started, producing seafood, particularly shrimp, which became a significant export to nations like Japan and the USA. Grain production grew so enormous that it had to be restricted to preserve water supplies. As farming and transportation techniques improved, the production of basic agricultural products like fruits and vegetables increased. This led to the growth of regional foods, including dates, which the country produced in various varieties, totaling roughly 500,000 tons annually. Saudi Arabia became involved in international aid and charity, surpassing other countries as the second largest food aid donor to the UN. Moreover, Saudi Arabia's agricultural sector has significantly impacted the country's economy and population. The growth in farming operations has translated into a greater choice of regional foods, providing more options for the population. The country's efforts to combat poverty and food shortages have resulted in the establishment of several factories for producing dates and thousands of tons of food aid. All these efforts have made Saudi Arabia a leading nation in agriculture and a significant contributor to global food production and aid. Finally, water was a necessary component of agriculture, and Saudi Arabia's ability to succeed depended on luck and and ingenuity. Aquifers were used to resolve the water problem, and deep tube wells were dug in the most promising urban and agricultural areas. This was a historic water source on which Saudi Arabia now completely depended. Today, Saudi Arabians rely heavily on aquifers as their main water source. The nation was able to make the most of the seawater at its disposal due to the government's wealth in coastal areas extending from the Persian Gulf to the Red Sea. Desalination activities were quickly undertaken, transforming seawater into drinkable water for homes and businesses. More than 27 desalination plants were run by the Saline Water Conversion Corporation, SWCC, generating more than 3 million cubic meters of drinkable water per day. The nation also advanced to what is now known as electric power recycled water to address the water problem. Reusing the water used for home purposes is part of this process. Significant metropolitan industrial hubs, 
such as the capital city and others, established water recycling factories to aid in the recycling of water. Recycled water is primarily used to irrigate agricultural fields these days. These processes helped agriculture and quickly made water available on the land. Saudi Arabia's agricultural transformation is a testament to its determination to overcome challenges and create a better future for its people. With its favorable weather conditions, advanced farming techniques, and abundant natural resources, the kingdom is well on its way to becoming a global agricultural powerhouse. Please like and subscribe to this channel so you never miss a video, share it with your friends, and click the bell icon to be notified. Thank you.